So let's do and welcome back to Shantae uh, Risk is Revenge. Sorry, I was thinking on the new game. On the last episode, we got to an expo for all the people that discover things. Explorers, I think, was the expo. And Risky Boots came in and stole a lamp that our uncle here said that wasn't dangerous. And then he said it was. And then I don't even know. But welcome back anyways. <coughs> So now we have to find Risky Boots and, you know, do what we do and we don't... No, wait, we're looking for three magic seals. Let's finish talking with the people. How do you send that other fisherman in this town? Talk about fat! I mean, sure, the other ones are fat. Hi? Bruh, no smash me! I smash. Okay, I don't smash. So, I couldn't... Uh... Wait, what the... How do I... What the, This? Not this? How? What? Wait. Oh, it's jump. Okay. I oh, was. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got from here. Okay. Let's see what you say. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'll be reading anymore because it's hurting my throat and really, maybe just the main characters or, or something. Let's see. Uh, you've been skipping your belly dance classes. No wonder you can remember any transformation dances. Uh, you're feeling rusty, hold the dance button to do a practice dance. Like this. Practice dance. Okay. So that brings up that brings us to the main um, gimmick of the game. I mean, it's I said it's a platform and you jump and you whip your hair back and forth. Um, hmm. So, part of the magic, magic stuff that, that we get to use, aside from the consumables that I... Um, <clears throat> um, that I mentioned before in the last episode is the dance uh, mechanic where you get to learn transformation dances as the dancer below us told us um, and that's well that transforms us what else can I say oh, I didn't I didn't remember this <laughs> I mean, it's nice to to relearn stuff. Now this is a safe room. Yes. Whenever you see this weird old person, it means either you finished the stage or something is coming up. Hello. When you're not sure what to do next, come talk to me, Volo or Uncle Mimic. You can find all three of us here in Skull Town from around. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Sure. Also, speak about Jill physics. Anyways. Let's keep talking with the people. Mm. Ah, okay, yeah. So this is the store where you can buy a lot of stuff. Um, here, there is where we'll find all of the consumables. I think we can also find them um, all over the world when we kill enemies. I think I'm not really sure. Oh, and these here, I believe it's here. Yeah, I think it's here. Team Patrol. Yeah. I think the more we play the game, the, um, we'll unlock up, uh, multi a lot of stuff in that store. This is the general store. Item shop, sorry. So here we have the potions that replenish hearts. I'm really bad at the game, so I might be buying these. Uh, these replenish magic, and these are the magic uh, spells, so to, so to say. The fireball, pikeball, and 
the storm puff. I don't really use this much, but I maybe I'll be using them a lot. This is very useful. Uh, and this is useful as well. Now this is the silky cream. You see, oh sorry, down there the 10 is the currency, the gems that you get by killing enemies. But these three, they use special stuff. It's the magic jam or whatever the fat lady outside said. So for this we need a hundred co um, gems and besides that the jam to purchase this or this. For this we need three, three um, gems and 200 gems. And this is really useful, one of the most useful things that I got the first time I played this. So I'll buy the map and I think that's it, I don't have enough for the fireball. So that's gonna be it. And I got the achievement, I, it's not coming up in the recording but yeah that's, uh, that's an achievement, getting the map. And we go all the way back here. This this guard doesn't let you through if you haven't saved the game. As, before I forget, I should save again because I purchased the map. If I don't, if I die, then I'll have to buy it again, and I'm not really into that. Okay, so now we're here. Let's open the map. Whew, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. The pink dots, I believe, are uh, teleporters, with, uh, so we can go wherever we want as long as we've activated them. So let's go to the right. There's a save point right there. So yeah, let's go to the right. Thank you, my kind sir. Oh! <clears throat> we'll find stuff like this all over the, the game. Stuff that we can't really get. We need a power-up to, to obtain a lot of stuff. So, um, on the... I don't even... With I think it's called Overworld. In these stages, uh, the action stages, let's let's call them. All the enemies are. Oh, this is the warp pedestal. Uh, yeah. So we need to wake up all the pedestals to warp. This is a cave that I believe we can. Yeah, we can enter by crawling. But we can't really do much in here. Since we can break those stones up there. Um, what I was talking about? Oh yeah, all the enemies are infinitely respawning. So, if you need a... Uh, you need to farm for gems, you can just walk around. And not even that, you, I think you can just... Yeah. Get them off screen and then clam. They're already they're already alive, like that one. I'm hoping that oh, I didn't even see you. <laughs> hoping that this time playing it isn't as harsh as my first time with the game, because I was really bad. Also, it didn't help that it was on an iPad. So these ones are stronger and fly and I hate them. But the ones I hate the most are those little bats. Oh the, sorry the that's <laughs> bats. Confusing my enemies. The the spiders, sure they do die in one hit, but those little projectiles, I don't like them. 
And how do you open um, chests? Why, whipping your hair, of course. So I guess I should go... Uh, also, sorry, um, that's death, in case you couldn't tell. Um, like that, I want to jump, and I couldn't, because of the little thing. Um, I guess I should tell you a little bit about the story of the game. Because, sure, this is Risky's Revenge, and the game has already told us that Risky Boots and Shante have fought before. That's a reference to the first uh, Shantae game for the Game Boy. If you've heard the name Shantae before, more than likely it's because you already know that the Game Boy game, the cartridge, is one of, if not the most rare game of the Game Boy Color. It's really expensive, and it's a pretty good platformer, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, it's, um... It's dated a lot. Um... Right now, the only play way to play them, re play the game, really is... Uh, if you don't want to fork over... I don't... I think it, I, almost a thousand dollars? I don't... Wait, what? Yes, it's morning. Got it. Um, yeah, if you don't want to fork over the money for an used copy of the game, uh, they did re-release the game in the uh, 3DS uh, virtual console, or the the store, the virtual store, I don't even know what it's called. I don't think it's a virtual console. But yeah, it was re-released and uh, that's mainly the only way you can play the game. <sighs> I hate these guys. Thank you. Uh, but anyways, going back to the story. Um, so in that game, I don't really know what happens. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Uh, here is the expert giving you a story lesson on Shante and doesn't even know what happens in the first game. Well, the thing is, I play I started playing it, but I never finished it. Because, as I say, it's a bit dated. I plan on finishing it sometime. I'm just not sure when. I'd like to make a video on the series of Let's Play on, on that game. But the thing is, it's on the 3DS, and I don't have a capture card for the 3DS. And I don't really know if there's a good emulator for that. Also, I don't want to risk getting in trouble by using an emulator, emulator even if I have the game. Uh, you know, all the, all the fun stuff. Uh, right now, I'm just looking for stuff to do. <laughs> Fun, I know. But anyways, in that game... Well, we already know that Shante is a half-genie. Um, what with the mayor say, fire, firing her and all that. And, I mean, on the first game, she fought against risky boots and shenanigans happened. I don't think it's all that really all that important. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. But I think that's the main story that you need to know before going into this game. That there was another game and that's why they're rivals. Shanta already beat Risky once and that's why it's Risky's Revenge. Hello little girl. Uh, those are all backed up. I've uh, always been to become a master chef. My pup wobble ball, but he seems to have run away. Okay, if you find him, please tell him I miss him. Oh, wobble ball, I miss my pup. Okay, so now we need to find wobble ball, the pup. Uh, 
I think they added, they added some voice acting for the game. Or maybe there was always voice acting for this? I don't... I don't remember. <laughs> But uh, anyways, I think this is enough rambling for today, so I'll stop the video here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and see you in the next one. Jalisco out.